Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out the Bodega Cooler. So, you know, normally people get a cooler, they put ice in it and they dump it out, put more ice in, dump it out, put more ice in. This is one of those 12 volt camping coolers slash freezers. Well, really it's a fridge slash freezer where it's got a power source. I got jackeries, I'm gonna to connect to it. And it's basically a fridge freezer for inside your car, inside your van, stuff like that. This was on sale for Prime Day in 2024. So I got it, and we're gonna try it out. Join me. We're gonna see how this works. I have a kind of a weird plan to use with it. We're gonna be powering these things with first the Jackery Explorer 300. I'm gonna see how it works on, this is the cheapest Jackery. This is one that goes on sale on Prime Day for like $100, $150, maybe even that now all the time so i want to see how does it how does it hold up on one of these does it even work and then after that i'm going to try it on the jackery explorer 700 plus see how it works on there um so charging it though charging these batteries and then the freezer itself i got the jackery solar saga 100. this is a brand new product from uh, jackery it, it's different than the ones they've had before the other ones they've had before are portable like you unfold them you put them in the back of the car this one is meant to be mounted to the car it comes with brackets uh, i also ordered some accessories to mount it to the subaru's rails so we're going to try this out mount this on the roof of the car run the wire into the car and have it always charging a jackery battery and then the jackery is charging the um, freezer so let's figure this out all right, let's get this thing started. Let's get this unboxed, get these jackeries over here. Remember a couple of videos ago when I bought like a four pack of box cutter like blades because I lost my one? Now I've lost all four of those plus my one. So we're back to using just the box cutter blade to open things. Where is it? I have no idea. All right, so opening up the Bodega Cooler. It's pretty heavy, so I'm gonna put this on the floor for a second and get this cooler out. That looks like it's the only accessory in here. And that is everything that comes in the box. Here is the Bodega Cooler. It looks like one of those classic coolers, honestly. It's, it's that kind of like textured plastic, um, blue on the bottom. As you can see, a fan here for the cooler. Then we have a uh, textured blue on the top with a handle right here. Um, looks like here there are controls. I see a plus minus plus minus a gear and a power button and then a USB port I'm a guessing for charging devices. So opening up the bodega cooler. Let's see what we get inside So immediately inside See there's two compartments here. This one has a tray dropped into it left side Right side has another tray and a box of accessories Notice that the right tray is a bit bigger there is like a, a step here for where the motor is sitting underneath of it. So it's weirdly cool inside of this thing, even though it's never been powered on. So let's take a look at the accessory box first. So inside the accessory box, we have a, a cigarette lighter adapter, nine volt, whatever it's called, 12 volt adapter, and then a standard wall outlet adapter here and then a instruction manual that's it one of the most important features that i wanted in a bigger cooler is definitely these wheels they do they do look a little loose but they're rubber and not like a hard plastic so they should hold up well also the handles are, are a nice touch as well um, i have a big yeti cooler with no wheels on it and it is once it's full it's like i'm not moving this thing i'm not taking this anywhere so the wheels are definitely helpful um let's see what else have we got here back side so it has fans on both the front and the back as you see right here same color scheme all the way around the uh, the gray plastic up top blue on the bottom with the control panel right on there and you can definitely tell this is a product from China so tips the food if need frozen effect have to be storage in this product at least 20 hours put the food in the refrigerator for 12 hours then move into this product use use will be better effect to prevent water damage the product close the cover immediately after using the usb you kind of get the gist of that and then down here it says this product to be stand still at least for six hours before use all right things i found out about this unit does not have a battery 
there's a battery icon on this control panel, but it's reporting the battery of whatever is plugged into it. So if you have it plugged in with the AC-DC adapter, it's going to say full battery. If you plug it into your car, it's going to report the battery of the car, and apparently it'll shut this down when the battery of the car gets to a certain point. I am not going to plug it into the car. I'm going to plug it into the Jackery. So first, I'm going to try with the Jackery 300. Put that there. I don't expect it to last too long with this thing, but we'll find out. So turn on DC. It immediately powered up. Starting up. We're pulling two watts right now, according to the control panel. 39 watts, 38 watts, 39 watts. Looks like both sides of it are on. And 66 watts. This is the control panel of the unit. You see down here it has a USB port so you could plug a phone into it and charge, plug something into it and charge here. This is the power port. If you just press it, nothing happens. You have to press and hold for three seconds. And then the whole thing will power off. You want to turn it back on, press it and it will turn back on. So there's two displays. Uh, there's the top display which is represented by a square and then the bottom display which is represented by this little L shape This is referring to the inside of the cooler the inside of the cooler The left side is square and the right side has that little shape because that's what's sitting over the uh, the cooling apparatus and then from there you can press up or down to change the uh, the temperature so obviously the right side over that over that square area That's the freezer and then up here is the fridge and then you can press up and down to um, change the temperature on that. Uh, see on the display here, it's showing the actual temperature of the freezer right now, which is 71 degrees Fahrenheit. You can change it to Celsius in the settings. And then upper display here is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, change it in the settings. Also shows the voltage of the power source. So it's reading 12.3 volts with a full battery. And it's hard to see. I'll show it for a second. I don't want to put this thing on its side too far. It has a max and an eco mode. So if you press this gear down here it will start blinking and then you can change it from max to eco so it's not using as much power so if it's just maintaining and it's probably cold outside you don't have to use max mode to keep it to keep it going so opening it up it's got a little led light inside as you see left side is the fridge right side is the freezer and both of these trays pull out and then has that led light in the middle now people have said you can move this bar so if you need to make the freezer smaller or the freezer bigger you can move this back and forth there have been some modifications done where i've seen people take that that bar out completely and they put a piece of like think it was tape or something over the like the sensor so it tricks both sides into working so then the freezer and the fridge kind of work in tandem to make just just one giant cool cool box i think at fridge temperatures but i've seen modifications it was in the uh, comment on the amazon link which i will put in the description below as you see there is a drain down there for the fridge and no drain for the freezer and it's also marked on the back side it says freezer there and then says fridge right there so we'll shut this so in the brief time I've been talking, the Jackery is at 99% pulling 53 watts. So you all can probably do the math on this. If it's pulling 53 watts and it's a, I think a 300 watt Jackery, do the math and figure out how much that will give us. I'm going to do it the lazy way and I'm going to plug it into my Jackery 700. So I'm plugging from here, plug it into here. Turn on my DC 12 volts on here. This will tell me exactly, look at that, it powered right back up when it got power. This will tell me exactly how many hours it will support. And again, this is showing 56 watts. I think it'll hit back to 60 when it's back on again. So at 60 watts, it's about 20 hours of battery life. Probably would wanna leave it plugged into the big jackery, but you could probably get away with that. I'm probably gonna try the smaller one first and then upgrade to the bigger one and we'll just, we'll see. All right, while that's running on Jackery Solar, I got the mounts to put the Jackery Solar, whatever it's called, 100 on the roof of the car. So let's open this up. So it's just the standard claw hook. So this will attach to the um, solar panel and then this will clamp onto the, to the roof rack. It's gonna be a little high and we'll try it out. It's Amazon, if you don't want it, 
So here is an example of how it's going to mount to the edge of the um, of the rail on the solar panel. It doesn't fit great, but it fits good enough. So this is the bracket you get with it. It's like an L bracket of sorts, and then you unscrew this screw or this fastener right here, and there are two rubberized plates that will squish together, and then the bolt will go through it. So that goes, it needs to go like this, so this is going down because you want the solar panel to like recess down into the roof. You don't want it to be super high. Just a little update here as I get ready to go to Uncle Charlie's cabin this morning. So we got 38 degrees in the, in the fridge and 18 in the uh, freezer and let's yeah that is that is very cool so far it's working really well i had it plugged in i have it plugged into the jackery up there in the front and um the jackery is plugged into the wall all right it's the next day here next day two days it's been two days here um so i realized i need to stop being lazy and I need to drill three new holes. It's the only way to get it to line up cleanly, not hack it and make it look like crap. So I'm going, I already put it up here. I got it squared up. I used the Sharpie and I put lines on the side of the uh, solar panel metal where the hole should go so the bracket lines up. Um, did that and I should also mention, hopefully I have all of the hardware still. I left some on the roof and then I was driving Uncle Charlie's cabin and then driving down the road, I'm like, why, is that, why do I hear all these noises on the roof and it was stuff falling off of the roof into the road. So I stopped, picked it all up, um, that country road. So hopefully I have all the hardware. So this might get even more hacky if I don't. Also, it's probably, uh, it's 100 degrees in this garage right now. So if you hear a loud noise, it's because I got that back fan. I think that was two videos ago. I got that back fan going, it's the spot. Definitely makes it a little less miserable out here when there's airflow going right up the shirt. So I still recommend that back fan if you're on the East Coast and it's uh, 100 degrees out. So got this marked, gonna take this off of the roof and then I'll drill the holes and re-secure all the mounts. So let's do that. Oh, there's a piece I thought I lost. Sweet. All right, so I've also had this running on the Jackery. I have the Jackery behind the driver's seat, the 700. I might try with the 400 after getting a little more comfortable with it. Um, so this far, this has been around, you know, on the Jackery, when I have parked here, I plug it in. So it stays plugged in overnight because I don't, obviously don't have the solar ready yet. Um, I think it was 27 hours. I basically drove Uncle Charlie's cabin and drinks are ice cold. If I had anything in the freezer, they'd probably be cold too. Ice cold, that is, that is nice. And no wet water mess and ice to deal with. Okay, that's maybe a little too cold. Ooh, that's cold. Anyway, so that's that. Let's get this back up on my makeshift workbench because this place is too messy to actually have a workbench. So what I'm gonna do is take my line that I put here and just transfer it all the way across there. So this little thing is the bracket that's gonna eventually get to it. I need to put a hole basically dead center. Basically dead center. And I'm gonna use our nice wood brake. Something to stop the drill. I'm, I'm going easy on it, but I don't want the drill to go right through and hit the uh, solar panel. So learning a little bit here still, I need to make my hole, if we, if we were looking at the center of this channel, you need to make it towards the inside of the frame. I'm seeing that the hole is just not close enough to where it can line up. So it really needs to go right on the edge. So let's drill another hole. That up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So it needs to get, go closer to the inside of this. I'm not spraying anymore. See, just put that shirt right in there. 
just keeps that cold air blowing on the back. It's pretty fantastic. Really, I'm just spinning and hoping it catches, but it, it didn't catch any of that. And the claw goes right there. Screw goes in the claw. Just like that. Now I have to somehow do that three more times. So you see I'm not really putting a whole lot of pressure on it. So same thing, line up that down there, line up this up here. It doesn't line up perfectly and it's just going to have to get it started in there and it'll eventually find the hole. I got it lined up and I'm just just spinning it. There it goes. I grabbed it. Yeah. Full lock on that thing. Thing claw sits in there. The bolt goes in there, and then once you start turning it, it starts screwing in. So this is now completely locked down and we can do the other side and put it on the roof. We are almost done. Almost done, which is great because it is hot out here. Speaking of, I, got, I can actually take a, can take a nice cool water break because I got a fridge always available. Again, that's too cold. Whew. Now this is where we're gonna run into problems because this is where I think I lost some of the parts I need to do the fourth one. Wonderful. Got one side of the bracket, I got the other side of the bracket. All I'm missing is the bottom plate, which I thought I found. And We'll be back after this commercial break. If you've been looking for a nice shirt to wear in the garage, get dirty, get oil all over it, and not, and not worry, but also support the Sometimes Builds, check out sometimesbuilds.com. We have these t-shirts here, Sometimes Builds on the front and Sometimes Builds on the back. So you can support the channel and have a nice light gray t-shirt to wear. These are extremely soft and comfortable. Um, as you've seen, I've laid on the floor, rolled around in oil, and everything kind of everything comes out pretty nicely i haven't i don't have any stains in this one i haven't had to i haven't had to open a second t-shirt yet this this is the only this is the one i've been wearing from the stock i ordered because i don't want to take away from y'all's stock so if you want to check it out sometimes builds.com well, i guess the moral of this story is don't lose your parts so all right found a washer perfect absolutely perfect in every way and i mean it it's definitely good enough. And because I know I'll get blasted in the comments if I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little bit of this spray paint and cover and cover these other holes I made up. Now the moment of truth. Does this fit? Did I measure eyeball it correctly? I did, but I put the freaking, is this the one with the nut? No. I did it mostly right, I put that corner in the wrong hole. See, it wasn't, wasn't a big deal. Just had to put it on the right hole. Wow, and with that, I have a solar panel mounted to the roof of the Outback. It was a lot of back and forth with this. I spared y'all from a lot of the mistakes and stuff. So you have to you have to line the holes up, make new holes safely, and then you can get the mouth put on there, the crabs put on there, and yeah. Now I just have to run this wire, which I think if I was gonna make this permanent, I would run the wire probably, you know, I'd find a hole, a passage, and send it through. This isn't permanent though. Eventually, this is going to go to the tundra because that'll be the camping one. I'm preparing for a road trip, so I'm just going to and shut the door. 
So I thought it came with a mess ton of converters, the um, Jackery or the, the Jackery solar panel. I guess it doesn't, so I'm stuck using I'm stuck using this Jackery 700, so that's fine. It's a drive away with a Jackery on the roof. All right, so now I'm gonna go mobile. We got it mounted to the roof. See, that ain't going nowhere. I just have the cable sitting right here and coming in the door. It's fine for right now. Um, when I put it on the truck, I will actually make it a permanent installation. So let's take it outside and let's see if the Jackery is charging. So it's not playing nicely, but um, so I have the Jackery position right here behind the seat. And then you see back here is the fridge. Fridge ru is running right now. See that the Jackery is getting 46 watts right now. Looks like it's 0.8 hours to fully charge. And then the uh, fridge is pulling 35. It'll get up to 60, I believe, once it's fully ramped up. I accidentally turned it off. So that'll be back on in a second. And then here you see the uh, bodega cooler sitting right here on the side. Of course, Jackery is up there. You pop this open and drinks and frozen items are right in there. If you wanna know some prices for this, let me let me look up some prices. So Jackery Solar Saga, I got it for $169. It was on sale on Prime Day of 2024. If you want to buy it new right now, it is showing for $300. Uh, there's a $30 coupon available as of the recording of this video, but you might want to wait for like the Black Friday Q4 time period. Usually they go on sale and during peak season, so maybe you can pick it up for for that $169 price on there. So as you saw in this video, I have the Jackery Explorer 700, which is a 1000 watt um, battery pack. It looks like I'm looking on Amazon, I was looking for the price. They don't have that 700 for sale anymore. They go right from the Explorer 300 to the Explorer 1000, um, where the Explorer 1000 is 2000 watts. And um, that Explorer 1000 is, the Explorer 1000 is $1,000. Um, I bought the Jackery Explorer 700 for $399, and you can guess it, got it on Prime Day. The Bodega Fridge, I got it for $260. It was $160 plus $54 off for Prime Day again. So all three of these I got on Prime Day. This is a Prime Day solar deal. If you want links to the products that were used in this video, check out the description below. I do get a small cut for using those links, either by, by browsing or purchasing with those links. So if you're going to... If you're thinking about buying this, definitely definitely consider using the links and help support the channel. And that is going to be a wrap for this video. We installed the Bodega um, freezer fridge in the back of my 2020 Subaru Outback, connected it to a Jackery Power Station 700, which then is being powered by the new Jackery Solar Saga 100. That is a 100 watt solar panel that can be hard mounted to a roof. I, I attached it to some clamps and I clamped it down to the roof so it can be removable. So now the battery can charge during the day and then in the evening keep the, the, the fridge freezer going and then back in the day charge up again. Gonna see if how well it works for the 700. I'll put updates in the comments below. If you have any questions, definitely consider asking down below. If you like this kind of content and want to join the other 620 subscribers as of the recording of this video, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell because every Saturday at 7 a.m. we post a new video and it might be Kubota tractors at Uncle Charlie's cabin. Haven't been some four-wheeling content in a while. Vanigan's uh, truck camping in my Toyota Tundra. Some random projects on the Subaru Outback. I need to do some more sound ending on that. That might be coming up soon too. But hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I will see you next week. Peace.